This is Meg Stump with www.pinloomweaving.com. I'm um, going to be doing a mattress stitch. This is a series on ways to uh, assemble and join uh, Pinloom Weavies. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, this material is written up in the new book, Pinloom Weaving and goes over not just the mattress stitch but a number of different ways to join up um, your product. Um, we talked about uh, the double overcast stitch earlier. There's a number of other ways as well. You can find a number of the techniques at the Pin Loom Weaving uh, website under um, pin loom essentials. So let's get going. I have two uh, squares here. Um, actually one of them is a 2x4 and one's a 4x4. Four four. That's going to work fine. I've already placed them together and if you notice I tried to get them where the loops on one alternated with the loops on the other. If it's not that way, this stitch will still work. This join will still work. You just have to kind of scoot it over a little bit in order to get this pattern. This is a reasonably easy stitch to do. Check it out. Basically, I'm going to start um, using this 5 inch Sally Hansen needle and what I'm going to be actually doing is weaving from the front through the loops on the back back through the loops on the front Oops, let's see if I can get it right to the back continuing, continuing all the way down Sometimes I get to do it in one shot, sometimes not. It doesn't really matter. But I'm just looping it back and forth. This makes a pretty smooth join. Um, and as you can see, it, it's pretty swift, reasonably easy to do once you get it started. The one difficulty is that the join is going to be this one thread that I'm going to be pulling through. Here I am pulling it through. And there it is. I haven't, haven't knotted the ends or anything. Take that out of the way. That was just to secure it while I was working on it. And open it up. And there it is. It's, it's kind of interesting when it's done. Oops. The two squares kind of zigzag back and forth. So that's the side you'd normally see, the upper side. This is the underside, which sh shows a little bit of a ridge, but really isn't bad at all. Okay. One more demonstration. This is another one that I've set up. I've actually already woven through it. So all I'm doing this time is pulling the yarn on through. And as you can see, the yarns all match. I've got two squares exactly the same color, matching yarn. And I'm going to open it up. And that's what it looks like uh, all in one color. Again, um, it's pretty swift. I like using it a lot with like baby blankets and other things where I'd like it to lie very nicely, but I'm really not expecting that there's going to be an incredible stress on the fabric. If there's a lot of stress on the fabric, I think you're better off using the double overcast stitch. And that is the mattress stitch. Thank you so much. This is pinloomweaving.com, Meg Stump. 
any questions feel free to write me thanks